Hey everybody, it's Bob from DI Corset. So today I want to talk about uh, the waste gate that are on our turbos. We've gone over this in the past, but now you know I just want to go into it in detail. So this is the 1446, which is the stock turbo that comes on our Abarths. Okay, this is exactly what you have. All right, and you recognize it like this. Okay, so this is the turbo. This is what's called the wastegate actuator. You know, some people have this, some people have, uh, let me get that better position there. Some people have this, which is the OE type. Some people put on a turbo spark or a forge wastegate actuator, but they do the same thing, okay? This is the cold side of your turbo. This is the hot side of your turbo. Get that a little bit better there. And here is your actual wastegate. Okay? So, how do you know if it's bad? And what we've seen is around 70, 80,000 miles, you get on the gas and your, uh, tur your boost starts to fluctuate. And what's happening is one, you could have a loose connection, you know, going to your, you know, your, your hose is going to the intercooler, so always check that first. But, you know, what we've seen many times is, you know, on these turbos, this is your wastegate, okay? The actuator connects to here, right? It opens and it closes, and the ECU tells it what to do, okay? And what's happening is, even though they're shutting, they're not shutting tightly because this is cast iron, correct? This is your wastegate, and there's a rod that goes through here. All right, and let me see. There's a bushing in there. This opens and closes. But this rod that this wastegate works on, you notice this play? Look what I'm doing. The rod and the bushing in there, it's just going like this, and it's opening and closing, right? But, look at this, I'm going, I'm not doing this. They'll always rattle, okay? I'm doing this. Let me get this closer. Can you see that? What's happening? The wastegate itself has play in it. And that's why this isn't shutting tight, because it's getting play, and that door or seal is not closing all the way. And this is what's going bad on your turbo. So, you know, we tell you, can you replace this? The answer is yes. You could buy this part for about $60. And what you have to do, you can't do this at home, to take it to a machine shop, they grind this off, they take this lever off, they put in a new one, they gotta press out this bushing, put this back, the new one back in, put this back on, make sure you get it in the right place, weld it on. That's about 300 and some odd dollars worth of work. Is it worth it? I doubt it. I would just recommend buying a new turbo. We only sell new turbos. We do not sell rebuilt. Why? Because usually they'll rebuild you know, the, the, the turbo itself, but when it comes to this, it's such a pain in the neck. They don't want to deal with it. So you've got a rebuilt turbo. This is worn, and in 10, 20,000 miles, this goes on yours. A lot of companies on the market, on the 1446, they modify them, but they don't change this, and that's the weak link on these turbos. If not, the turbos last forever. That's about it. If you have any questions, let us know, but um, you know, hopefully you get an idea. This is the problem. All right, have a good day, and thank you.